Welcome back to my 100 Dresses, a 100 painting series of women in fabulous dresses inspired by the children's book, The 100 Dresses by Eleanor Estes, and this is painting number 11. So for this painting, it is my longest video. Most of my videos are probably around two, maybe three minutes at tops versus this one. I wanted to really extend the creative process and pull you into way more of what it looks like when I'm creating. Um, so we're just kind of test it out. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I think typically I try and keep things short just because our attention spans are a lot shorter these days. but. There's something magical when you can see a lot more of what's actually happening behind the scenes. So because of that, I'm not going to be talking too much in this video. I'm more just going to let you enjoy watching this painting come to life in real time. Something that is a little bit unique about my painting process is I use acrylic paint as a base and then I come in on top with oil paint. So a lot of the base work that you're seeing right now where I'm kind of almost sketching in using color, the outline and just general shapes of the figure. A lot of this is done in acrylic mainly because I can use much larger brushes and move quicker. Oil paint is a little bit harder the larger the tool that you use to apply the paint and in acrylic paint I also can get those really beautiful drips so in all of my paintings you see this happening and once I start moving over to much smaller brushes like I just did now that's typically when you know I have moved on to oil painting it's very rare for me to ever use small brushes with acrylic I really like that messy organic look and you can't get that when you're doing a ton of little details throughout the entire painting so instead I start with bigger brushes and then I move into these smaller more detailed brushes in the oil paint. Okay, pay attention right here. Just hopping back to point out these colors in the skin. If you are an artist or someone that just likes to understand painting, um, one quick tip is if you want your paintings to really come to life, add in almost bizarre or unique colors that you would never think should go on the figure. So in skin, you would never think like teal blue, but I promise in adding in those additional pops of color, you can always tone them down, but they do come through in a way that makes the painting almost look like it is 
3D, full of life, as if it, it's almost like sun-kissed. This is my absolute favorite part of any painting process. It's when I am finishing up with just the most delicate of details. So the highlights, the darkest, tiniest little shadows, I wanna make sure everything is popping. And this, my friends, is painting number 11. I named her Elegance. There's a poem in the description of this video. I like to write poetry in all of my paintings. I think that it really communicates a deeper meaning and allows us to enjoy the artwork not just with our eyes, but with our mind and soul. Thank you so much for joining. I will see you next week for painting number 12.